Good evening. And it's an honor to welcome you to the Tenebrae service at Trinity. Um, I'm Reverend Rachel Tabor Hamilton, the rector here. And uh, I'm very grateful to be able to also have this live streamed for those of you who are at home or watching a little bit later. Uh, it wouldn't be possible without our technical directors. And this evening we have Jarman Miner and Troy Andrews. So thank you so much. Now, this evening's service, Tenebrae, has a very ancient root in monastic tradition and was used in the middle to late Middle Ages as a service of shadows, a way to thematically invite people into reflections of the tomb. And so there is this gradual decrease of light. And we certainly invite you uh, as you look at the service, there are moments there in bold where you certainly are welcome to participate when you kind of learn <laughs> and hear from the cantors what is that tune uh, of response. You're certainly welcome to do that. There will come a time when you can't see, and that's fine. Let yourself let that go, and the cantors will keep going. And so for those of you who are watching online, there will also come a point when you won't be able to see what's happening on the screen <laughs> and you will wonder like what's wrong with your television and just like night gallery there's nothing wrong with your television set or twilight zone it's okay um, it's a part of the service what you should still be able to see is the center candle and a little bit of lighting on the canters but don't don't worry on it that's that's what it's supposed to be is an invitation in fact if you are at home um, I would encourage you to just do this with low level lighting or no, or no lighting so that you enter into the sense of what's happening in this space. So at the end of the service, the final note to just prepare you for is uh, there will be a loud noise while we are all sitting in the dark. It's intended to be startling uh, because of the idea that resurrection should be startling. <laughs> <laughs> and that loud noise is meant to symbolically remind us of the tomb cracking open. And you'll see that the light will have disappeared that represents Christ, and it will be restored or resurrected. Once you see that center candle be restored after the tomb is opened, you can, you're welcome to stay here as long as you'd like, <laughs> um, just be cautious about how you exit. There will be ambient light from the narthex area through the windows. If you need any assistance at all, um, I'm going to ask our readers to maybe just be mindful of anyone who needs assistance in leaving. Okay? Um, right now, I'm being fairly quiet, even though I'm miked. But when we start cantering, you'll hear that quite well. And you'll hear our readers quite well, who will be up at the lectern. So now I invite us to just take a moment to gather ourselves and our prayers as we enter into this service of shadows to reflect on the mystery of the tomb.
one of those who scorn you has fallen upon me. Zeal for your house has eaten me up. The scorn of those who scorn you has fallen upon me. <coughs> Save me, O God. For the waters have risen up to my And there is no firm ground for my feet. I have come into deep waters. And the torrent washes over me. I have grown weary with my crying. My throat is in flame. My eyes have failed for looking for my Those who hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of my head. My lying foes who would destroy me are mighty. Must I then give back what I never sold? Oh God, you know my foolishness. And my faults are not hidden. to shame through me, Lord God of hosts. Let not those who seek you be disgraced because of me, O God of Israel. Surely, for your sake, I have suffered reproach. And shame has covered me. Become a stranger to my own kindred. And alien to my mother's children. Zeal for your house has eaten me up. The scorn of those who scorn you has fallen upon me. I humbled myself with fasting. What that was turned to my reproach. I put on sackcloth also. And became a byword of them. Those who sit at the gate murmur against me. And the drunkards make songs of me. But as for me, this is my prayer to you. At the time you have said, O Lord. In your great mercy, O God. Answer me with your unfailing help. Save me from the mire. Do not let me sink. Let me be rescued from those who hate me and out of the deep waters. Let not the torrent of waters wash over me, neither let the deep swallow me up. Do not let the pit shut its mouth upon me. Answer me, O Lord. For your love is kind. In your great compassion, turn to me. Hide not your face from your servant. Be swift and answer me, for I am in distress. Draw near to me and redeem me. Because of my enemies, deliver me. You know my reproach, my shame, and my dishonor. My adversaries are all in your side. Reproach has broken my heart, and it cannot be healed. I looked for sympathy, but 
Altogether dismayed. Let those who take pleasure in my misfortune draw back and be disgraced. Let those who say to me, Aha, and gloat over me turn back because they are ashamed. Let all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let those who love your salvation say forever, Great is the Lord. But as for me, I am poor and needy. Come to me speedily, O God. You are my helper and my deliverer. Arise, O God, maintain my cause. Arise, O God, maintain my cause. O God, why have you utterly cast us off? Why is your wrath so hot against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your congregation that you purchased long ago. The tribe you have redeemed, you reunited, and at Zion where you dwell. Turn your steps toward the endless ruins. The enemy has laid waste. 
Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked. From the clutches of the evildoer and the oppressor. A reading from the Lamentations of Jeremiah the Prophet. Aleph. How solitary lies the city, once so full of people. How like a widow has she become. She that was great among the nations. <clears throat> she that was queen among the cities has now become a vassal. Beth. She weeps bitterly in the night. Tears run down her cheeks. Among all her lovers, <clears throat> she has none to comfort her. All become her enemies. Jimmel. Judith has gone into the misery of exile. <clears throat> and of hard servitude. She dwells now among the nations, but finds no resting place. All her pursuers overtook her in the midst of her anguish. Dalith. The roads to Zion mourn, because none come to the solemn feasts. All her gates are desolate. Her priests groan and sigh. Her virgins are afflicted, and she is in bitterness. Hey, her adversaries have become her masters. Her enemies prosper because the Lord, <coughs> excuse me, because the Lord has punished her for the multitude of her rebellions. Her children are gone driven away as captives by the enemy. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, return to the Lord your God. On the Mount of Olives, Jesus prayed to the Father, Father, 
if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Watch and pray for the courage and strength to follow Christ's example. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. God save us. Wow. And from daughter Zion, all her majesty has departed. Her princes have become like stags that can find no pasture and that run without strength before the hunter. Zion. Jerusalem remembers in the days of her affliction and bitterness all the precious things that were hers from the days of old, when her people fell into the hand of the foe and there was none to help her. The adversary saw her and mocked at her downfall. Heth. Jerusalem has sinned greatly. Therefore, she has become a thing unclean. All who honored her despise her, for they have seen her nakedness, and now she sighs and turns her face away. Teth. Uncleanness clung to her skirts. She took no thought of her doom. Therefore, her fall is terrible. She has no comforter. O oh Lord, Behold my affliction, for the enemy has triumphed. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, return to the Lord your God. My soul is indeed very sorrowful, even to the point of death. Remain here and watch with me. Now you shall see the crowd who will surround me. You will flee, and I will go to be offered up for you. Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of those who turn away from God's gifts of true life, love, and freedom. Yod. The adversary has stretched out his hand to seize all her precious things. She has seen the Gentiles invade her sanctuary, those whom you had forbidden to enter your congregation. Ka. All her people groan as they search for bread. They sell their own children for food to revive their strength. Behold, O Lord, and consider, for I am now beneath contempt. Lamech. Is it nothing to you, all you who pass by? Behold, and see if there is any sorrow like my sorrow, which was brought upon me, which the Lord inflicted on the day of his burning anger. Mem. From on high he sent fire. Into my bones it descended. He spread a net for my feet and turned me back. He has left me desolate and faint all the day long. Nun. 
My transgressions were bound into a yoke. By his hand, they were fastened together. Their yoke is upon my neck. He has caused my strength to fail. The Lord has delivered me into their hands, against whom I am not able to stand up. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, return to the Lord your God. See with the vision of the heart. We have seen him without beauty or majesty. He was appalling in our eyes of those who would not see with love. He bore our fears and wrongs, and yet he grieved for us. He was wounded by human transgressions, and yet his scourging and death. We are offered healing and new life. God save us. Surely he has borne our own troubles and carried our own sorrows. And by his wounds, our wounds are healed as we believe with Christ's hope and trust. Itself. My lips shall give you praise. Oh, oh God, you are my God. My soul clings to you. So will I bless you as long as I live and lift up my hands in your name. My content as with marrow and fatness and my mouth praises you with joyful lips when I remember you upon my bed and meditate on you in the night watches oh
My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Oh God, you are my God. My soul clings to you. They shall mourn for him as one mourns for an only child, for the one who is without sin is slain. They shall mourn for him as one mourns for an into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no one living be justified. For my enemy has sought my life, he has crushed me to the ground, he has made me live in dark places like those who are long dead. My spirit faints within me. My heart within me is desolate. I remember the time past. I muse upon all your deeds. I consider the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you. My soul gasps to you like a thirsty land. O oh Lord, make haste to answer me. My spirit fails me. <clears throat> Do not hide your face from me, for I shall be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning. For I put my trust in you. Show me the road that I must walk, for I lift my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your good spirit lead, lead me on level ground. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness' sake, bring me out of trouble. Of your goodness, destroy my enemies and bring all my foes to naught. For truly, I am your servant. They shall mourn for him as one mourns for an only child. For the one who is without sin is slain.
despair, I said, in the noonday of my life I must depart. My unspent years are summoned to the portals of death. And I said, no more shall I see the Lord in the land of the living. Never more look on my kind among dwellers on earth. My house is pulled down and I am uncovered as when a shepherd strikes his tent. My life is rolled up like a bolt of cloth, the threads cut off from the wall. Between sunrise and sunset, my life is brought to an end. I cower and hope for the dawn. Like a lion, he has crushed all my bones. Like a swallow or thrush, I utter plaints and cries. I mourn like a dove. My weary eyes look up to you. Lord, be my refuge in my affliction. But what can I say? For he has spoken, it is he who has done this. Slow and halting are my steps all my days, because of the bitterness of my spirit. O oh Lord, I recounted all these things to you, and you rescued me. When entreated, you restored my life. I know now that my bitterness was for my good, for you held me back from the pit of destruction. You cast all my sins behind you. The grave does not thank you, nor death give you praise. Nor do those at the brink of the grave hang on your promises. It is the living, O oh Lord, the living who give you thanks as I do this day. And parents speak of their faithfulness to their <coughs> children. You, Lord, are my Savior. I will praise you with stringed instruments all the days of my life in the house of the Lord. From the gates of hell, deliver my O oh, death, I will be your death. O oh, grave, I will be your destruction. O oh, oh, death, I will be your death. O oh, grave, I will be your destruction. Praise God in his holy temple. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him for his excellent greatness. Praise him with the blast of the ram's horn. Praise him with lyre and harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with 
with love playing symbols. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. O death, I will be your death. O grave, I will be your destruction. Everybody shall rest in hope. You will not let your creation perish forever. became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name. Wash me through and through from my wicked. 
joy of your saving help again, and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. I shall teach your ways to the wicked, and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from death, O God, and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness, O God of my salvation. Open my lips, O Lord, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Create in me, create in me a clean heart, O God. Had you desired it, I would have offered sacrifice, but you take no delight in burnt offerings. The sacrifice of God is a troubled spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O oh God, you will not despise. Be favorable and gracious to Zion, and rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with the appointed sacrifices, with burnt offerings and oblations. Then they shall offer young bullocks upon your altar. 